want to try and get the message out there as, as much as possible that if you're struggling with things in your adult life, it's probably got a lot to do with the things that you've been struggling with most of your life. And a lot of those things, or most of those things, will come from your childhood. Yeah, I was feeling very down, um, very lost, lacking confidence, um, you know, always on the verge of tears. Very sort of, yeah, I think lost is probably the best word. I've got very vague memories, very vague memories of, uh, of running away. Um, well, I kind of remember the feeling. Remember the feeling of being very alone. We all have this story going around in our heads that we tell ourselves about our lives. And it's about trying to tell yourself a different story. It's writing a new chapter. It's turning the page and saying, this is now blank rather than this is my story and this is how my life is and this is how it's always going to be because that's what we do, we look into the world, this is always going to be the same. Just thinking back to it, I remember you know, going and sitting on my mum's lap, on my dad's lap and trying to give them a cuddle and it was almost like that feeling that it was just, you know, not the right time or you know, you're being a nuisance or you know, what you're doing, you know. When you're born, you're born in survival mode. So your brain is in survival mode. Your brain needs to learn how to survive being alive. So everything that you learn in those formative years, your brain's saying, I need to remember this because this is going to keep me alive, or I need to remember this because this is going to kill me, <laughs> or whatever it is. So basically it will be pain and pleasure. So your brain wants to run away from pain and run towards pleasure. So everything that causes you pain, your brain then remembers that and says, I don't want, I don't want that. I felt I would become a burden if I would say I have needs as well. Um, I uh, grew, grew up uh, believing that what we need to achieve as human on, on this earth is just to uh, be there for others. Um, do I fit in? Do I decide to step away from it? Do I take a back seat and actually shut down, have nothing to do with you, misbehave? Or do I conform? Do I become a bit of a pleaser? Do I try to think about, okay, what can I do in order to get the love and affection that I need? And, and we all develop our own ways of doing that. I should be a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's where that came from. Um, and I think if I make myself necessary in somebody else's life, then I get what I want out of it, I get that attention and that love. Mm -hmm. So I have, I do feel like I have to become a necessity to somebody. And I think that comes very much from wanting that attention when I was little and, and, and needing to feel needed. But I remember walking down this road, this road is a really long road. Um, and it, as, a, as a kid, it looked so far. And I always remember that. I've come a long way, I thought I'd run away a long way. There was always part of me that felt that I needed someone there to help me in the future. Um, now I feel like I'm strong enough that if there wasn't anyone in my life, I could kind of cope with the future on my own. It's really important to understand who you are, to be your authentic self, to be your whole self and to accept those parts of yourself that you may have decided that didn't work as you were growing up. Yeah, just, just who I am and, and that my, my real self is all right. I don't need to, to close her away or you know, shut her away or be someone that I'm not. And you, you've brought back the old me and... Excellent. Yeah. I smile a lot more, I laugh a lot more, you know, and, and that is how I used to be. What I'd say now is I'd go up to myself and I'd tell myself well, I was a good kid.